Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Oh, it is Toronto Sound Guy. Hi. All right, so check this out. I've got professional audio rolling right now because of my buddy Dane, AKA Toronto Sound Guy, who hooked it up with this marvelous mic, who hooked it up with this marvelous sound pack. It is absolutely amazing. So you may, you may just get Netflix quality movies and videos from your boy now. This is how we do things. So I don't expect anything less than greatness and neither should you from me. So we're doing show this today. That's it. Let's get it. I like to go heavy on my dumbbell laterals because that's an exercise that most often is done in a high rep, low set movement or phase, uh, what have you. Whereas the anterior delt shoulder presses, um, machine shoulder presses, barbell presses, any of those vertical move, uh, presses that really hit the anterior, a lot of people go heavy on those. So it's just nice, really, just to switch up the rep range a little bit and go heavier on the, on the lateral delts. Because um, it is possible that you can get an eight to 10 rep on a dumbbell lateral raise like I just did and still hit high rep anterior delt work like your shoulder presses, et cetera. And rear delts work really well in that mid range to high rep range, you know, 10 plus reps. So. That's how I like to do it personally. Everybody's different. You'll learn to respond to different things and different uh, volumes per exercise. So just something to think about, just if you want to switch up your training slightly. But now we're going into rear delts. So one thing you don't want to be doing when you're doing cable reverse flies is you don't want to be squeezing the shoulder blades together, right? Because right now, we're, what we're really trying to target and we're focusing on is the rear delt. So how does the rear delt work right now? Well, when you're doing cable reverse flies, if you start to protract the scapula, protract the shoulder blades, you lose tension on the rear delt, the rear delt being behind the shoulders. So what you would do is, you sit here, right? So instead of coming like this, leave it out and then pull apart so that you get complete control of the rear delt. That's gonna give you a very nice, like cap finished look of the shoulders. You get a lot of anterior delt work, from the shoulder pressing, the chest press, right? And we all do the lateral delt raises, but if you really want to build that nice round shoulder, get that cap in the back, you want to make sure that you're targeting the rear delt appropriately and making sure that your technique is fine so that you're maximizing the tension in which you leave that delt under. Oh, Toronto sound guy. Oh, man. Toronto sound guy, why are you panting so much from doing 225, 55. 55, wait, is it 250? Why are you like so gassed from 255? How many reps are you doing? Uh, I just did three, but I'm wor working up to it. It's cardio, yeah. three reps. He only does singles. <laughs> That's all he does. Anything more than one rep per set, he gets totally gassed. Man, look at this. 
And, he, and these are real plates though, like these aren't bumper plates. These are all real metal 45 plates because we know how a lot of you in the Instagram and Facebook world like to use rubber plates that are not the exact weights that you say they are <laughs> and they're hashtag fake weights. But Daners, I really want that. I want an Apple Watch so bad. Well, actually, is there a real need for an Apple Watch? I need to know this from people out there in the world because Dame loves his watch. I only want a watch. I only want the Hermes watch because it's, well, it's Hermes and it's got a nice face and I really love the bands that they have for it. But it's like, you really want to spend $1,600? Well, 1600 Canadian or 800 Canadian, which runs about 13 to $1,500 US dollars on an Apple watch? Like, do I really need it? Let me know. Like, do you really find it useful? I don't know. I have my laptop, I have my Mac, my, my iPhone. Like, do I really need it? I don't know. Daners. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave Daners alone now because I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, go back to lifting my weights. Okay, bye. All right, so one thing that a lot of people tend to do wrong is these overhead presses. When you're doing overhead presses, you are not to be pushing that weight ahead of you. What you're supposed to be doing, you're supposed to be getting that weight directly above the head, okay? So here's what you don't wanna do. saw that, you saw that my, the weight was staying directly in front. Whereas you want your bicep to bisect your ear. What that means is you want that, think of your bicep as like a cell phone. You're covering your ear up, okay? Like this. Learn how to do that correctly, and you're gonna build some wonderful, wonderful shoulders. Dane, Daners, yeah. do you, would you like to tell the people something? Train with LG. That's right. 